First up, the 4x100 meter relay final for women. The world record 40.82 set by the Americans here in this London stadium five years ago. Switzerland, a national record to qualify for this final, 42.50 seconds. Third leg, Ajinja Kambunji, nice. They've been working on that. Kambunji will go on their third leg for them. Lane number eight, Brazil, due to be brought home by Los Angeles Santos. 100 meter finalist Santos, of course. But then the four-time champions, Jamaica. They've brought in Simone Facey, who replaces Morrison. Now, third fastest in qualifying, a very efficient and fast German team. Pinto, Meyer, Wolfgang Kempel and Haas. Listen to the roar. Great Britain and Northern Ireland. Philip Henry, Ashley Smith and Nita. Then the USA, silver medalist in Beijing. Seven times the champions in four. They've brought in Tori Bui, the 100 meter champion. Lane three will be Trinidad and Tobago. Hackett, Ayi, St. Fort, Baptiste. Two individual finalists in their squad. And then here's the Netherlands, the late chains, Van Schagen will lead them off. And Daphne Skippers, the 200 meter gold medalist, the 100 meter bronze medalist will run down the back straight. But it's still a lap of honor for the javelin champion. A deserved lap of honor. He's been asked to move to the side as the relay runners come out. The crowd love that, and he won't mind one bit. Johannes Vetter conquers all, including his great rival Roller, who finished off the podium. Vetter is the world champion. Jakub Vadlic with a PB to silver, and Peter Friedrich, his compatriot, the bronze. So the final female track action. The United States go in lane number four. The athletes come out, put the markers down. That's the mark that you look at as a four by one sprinter and nothing else. The incoming runner comes in. As soon as you see them hit it, you set off like a rocket. So the USA, Aaliyah Brown will lead them off. They'll start in lane number four, a world-leading qualifying of 41.84 seconds, the Americans. Silver in Beijing, two years ago. But they have won this title seven times over world championship history. But of course, you have to look at the Jamaican team as we see Alison Felix will go down the back straight. Bronze medalist in the 400 meters. It's a strong US team, stronger of course, now they've brought the 100 meter champion Tori Bowie in. Jamaica, only one change, bringing in Facey on the top bend. The British team can't be discounted, Trinidad and Tobago have individual finalists as well. It's really hard to call this one, Catherine. I wonder what difference Bowie could make to the Americans. The Jamaicans, defending champions, Olympic silver medalists and the British quartet as were their male counterparts, very impressive in qualification. Yeah, I wouldn't rule out the Great Britain team, but I think they're in with an outside chance of doing really well here. They look very, very comfortable coming through. Obviously, the Americans are the outright favourites, but this is the relay, anything can happen. You know, as they say, you've got to get that stick around, and that's all that counts. There's Asher Phillip, the lead-off leg for the Great Britain and Northern Ireland team, running the semi-finals of the 100 metres here. Dina Asher-Smith in the centre of the shot, fourth over the 200 metres. She'll run the top bend. So here's your full lineup for the final of the women's 4x100 metre relay. USA, Jamaica, Germany, Great Britain, Trinidad and Tobago. The centre lanes are the favourites from three to seven. 
but in relays, you just don't know. So here's your full lineup. Lane number nine, Switzerland. Ponte, Achu, Kambunji, Kora. A national record, as I say, to qualify for this final. Lane number eight, the team from Brazil. Karasuki, Silva, Rosa. And the individual finalist, Los Angeles Santos. Lane seven, the team from Jamaica. Fifth fastest to qualify, no Elaine Thompson, Levy, Morrison, Facey and Forbes. They are the defending champions. Lane six, the Germans. Pinto, Meyer, Luchenkemper and Haas. They won the World Relays earlier this season in the Bahamas. Lane number five, second fastest to qualify for this final. Great Britain, Northern Ireland, Philip, Henry, Asher Smith, Nita, Olympic bronze medalists. Lane four, the USA. Brown, Felix, Akinosan and Bowie. Lane, three, lane number three, Trinidad and Tobago. Hackett, Ayi, St. Fort, Baptiste. Ayi and Baptiste, individual 100 meter finalists. And, two, and completing the lineup in lane number two, the Netherlands. Van Schagen in for the last minute replacement. Schipper, Stedney and Samuel. So, the battle down the back straight could potentially be with Daphne Skippers, Michelle Lee IE, Alison Felix, the home straight, Tori Bowie on the final leg for the USA. Will her team be in touch to give the individual 100 meter champion a chance? The final of the women's four by 100 meter relay. Netherlands, Trinidad and Tobago, United States, Great Britain, Northern Ireland, Germany, Jamaica, Brazil and Switzerland. Three athletes wait. So it's a clean start in the 4 by one final for women. Jamaica going well in lane number seven, as is the USA in lane number four with Brown. We look at the changes down the back straight. The British team are running well. United States, that Alison Felix absolutely flying. Michelle Lee, Ali of Trinidad and Tobago going well. Their change wasn't the best. It's the USA. It's Jamaica. Into the final change. Oh, Tori Bowie looks back for the baton. She changes hands. The British team are on a charge. USA, Great Britain. Jamaica. 41.82 seconds. The final changeover was a little bit iffy for the Americans. We'll keep an eye on that one. But the US of A officially 41.82 seconds. Great Britain and Northern Ireland, silver, and Jamaica, the bronze. Well, we haven't seen a full celebration yet from Tory Bowie. It was the shakiest changeover from third leg to fourth. Akinason to Bowie, who won the individual 100 meter title and was drafted in for the final from the semis. Great finish from the British quartet, but we need to see that last changeover again. She knows it was close. Yeah, I think we should look at the British one as well. It wasn't as slick as the heats. No, but I think, Peter, the, the, the American changeover in that last uh, handover to Bowie will have to watch again because I think it was preciously close to a foul. Well, let's look at the replay. The Jamaicans were going well. We'll keep an eye on the British first change as well. Between Philip and Henry, it was stretched, the British change. Look at that. They've still not handed it over, the British quarter. Hang on. I think they're just in. We'll await the decision. Alison Felix was hunting down Desiree Henry on the second leg. The Jamaican team at this point were going well. Natasha Morrison, they all look pretty safe. But let's keep an eye now. The USA, the flowing locks. Akinason. Asher Smith, Facey, Bowie goes out, Bowie looks back, Bowie's waiting for the baton, the Britons are okay, she's 
taken it probably a stride and a half inside the changeover zone. And once she'd adjusted the baton, guys, she was gone. The British team were trying hard, weren't they? Daryl Nita was trying to put the world champion under pressure. Tori Boo's the fastest athlete in the world this year. But a brilliant medal for the British, beating Jamaica, who pick up the bronze. Oh, so close, though, wasn't it, for the Americans there? Bowie had to slow in order to get that baton. And when she slowed, she got it just within the last stride of that box. But it was interesting because Bowie looked round for the baton even before she needed to. I don't know how early she expected it to come to her. Look at the stretch, though. Look at the stretch from Moraleka Kinnison. And, and that's what sometimes happens, Catherine, when you bring an athlete in who's technically faster, and she would be because she's the individual 100 meter world champion, but you haven't had the same amount of time to practice. It was funny though because Naita closed on her until Bowie got into her stride again. You know, it was so close at one point, but then she just literally powered away. Yeah, world champion, 10.85 seconds. No one's going to catch Bowie in full flight at the moment. Let's keep an eye on the second changeovers from all. That looks safe. The British team just got it in time. Yeah, two to three strides. But that's the safest place to put an athlete who doesn't run regularly in a team. You just give them one job. Stick your hand out, take the baton, don't go off too fast. So that's the best leg to put your world champion in the USA. The eighth time they've won this world championship title. And Alison Felix picks up a gold medal. Will she be back in the 4x4 four four for the Americans tomorrow? We'll wait and see. Yet another great medal for one of the all-time greats, Alison Felix, individually and in the relays, 4x1 and 4x4. Four four. Well, so many gold medals for the United States. Nine now, I make that absolutely incredible.